What's up guys, Quattro Game back at it again with another video. I know it's been a long time and we haven't made any car related content in a minute. Um, hopefully some of you have been keeping up with the football content and I'll throw the link to that up in the top right hand corner. It might be over there. Either way, we're gonna hop straight into what we have going on on the A3 today. So I'm gonna catch up with y'all at the shop. So what we're about to get started on is tearing down the A3. Now you might be asking yourself, why in the world is it so dark? You might be asking yourself, why in the world are we tearing down the A3? Now, the short answer to that is, if you take a look at this part of the cylinder head, the fuel injector goes here, and the bolt that holds in the fuel injector rail is here. Some genius decided that they wanted to break this, and instead of fixing it by welding in new material and doing it the right way, or even swapping the cylinder head, they're just gonna leave it open. So, the fuel rail on this car started to lean, and when it started to lean, it blew out an injector seal. So, I found out that the injector seal was leaking, towed it to the shop, swapped out the injector seal, and when I tried to put everything back, realized that, oh, the cylinder head's broken. That is a small problem. So, what we'll get started on tonight is tearing down all of this to swap this new cylinder head, into the car. I'm super excited. So the first order of business was actually getting to the intake manifold. Now I have an upgraded deep motor intake manifold, so it's a little bit harder in some ways, and in some ways it's a little bit easier to remove than the factory intake manifold. Next, we move over to the coil packs, PCV, and fueling system, along with the valves on the back of the cylinder head and then we move over to the flange on the turbo. Next up is the high pressure fuel pump, the brake vacuum pump, the engine coolant control valve, the combi valve, and a few other connections, and the secondary air injection hose that connects on the side of the head. Moving on from there, it's finally time to disassemble the timing chain side of the engine with the timing chain cover, magnets, spool valve, cam bridge, and camshafts coming out last. today boys we did the manifold pcv the turbo is loose timing chain cover um only thing i gotta do is just pop the two cam valves take the cam bridge out take the uh take the cam cradle out and then undo my head studs and then we can slap in this bad boy so we're making some progress we are making progress After making the physical swap of the cylinder head, things started to lighten up. I was able to whip out the torque wrench and torquing the cylinder head down in three steps going to 80 foot pounds, was able to hear quite a few satisfying beeps. 
Now this is a very important footnote. What you're seeing here is not the X pattern. This was just me checking after finishing the X pattern that I had torqued everything down to 80 foot pounds across the board. While the intake manifold was out, I decided to slap some paint on it and it's bringing a beautiful aesthetic to the engine bay. Okay, so I'm not gonna bore you with timing chain reinstall because there's 873 videos on YouTube showing how that's done. We put the timing chain back on, primed the car a few times, and got to a cold start. 